Today we're going to talk about glycolysis. Why? Call. Assist. Now, if you look at the word, the word glyco. for glucose. Lice and it's for breaking apart. Seen that before with lysosome. And cis is process. So glycolysis means the process of breaking apart or breaking down. Glucose. Now, glycolysis has two stages. Okay, lost my first stage. is the energy investment. Stage. Here we have to use two ATPs. We have to spend energy use energy to get energy. The second stage is the energy payoff stage. Here we are going to get four ATPs, but Sometimes they don't include this, but I feel it's part of the energy payoff. You also get two NADHs plus two hydrogen ions. And they are just like NADPH was an electron carrier. Well, that's important because later on during cellular respiration, they are going to help us get some more ATPs. So let's look at the first stage. Oops, let's see. The energy investment stage. Here we're going to have glucose and we're going to spend an ATP and that becomes ADP plus the inorganic phosphate. Now there are actually five steps in the energy investment stage and we don't need to know those five steps. It's going to change from here it's going to change to uh, it's going to be a number of steps, and but it's going to become actually a type of fructose, 
And I'm only going to mention that because at this one third step, we have a thing, we have, it becomes phosphofructate, phospho. Fructose. Don't need to remember that name. And this is another part where we should have ATP, the second ATP is added. But here, when this is added, it needs an enzyme. And that enzyme, once again, I'm not going to make you remember this name, phosphofructokinase. You don't have to remember that name. What it means, mutate, you're adding, whenever you see this enzyme, it means you're adding a phosphate to there. Now, here's the thing. If the ATP goes up. So we have lots and lots of ATP. That will bind to, to this and it changes its shape so that it can't do its job anymore. Meaning the more ATP you have in here, it stops phosphofructokinase from doing its job. It's, uh, it's a type of control. If you have lots of ATP, you don't need to be having uh, this phosphofructose change into the next thing. It slows it down until you end. Then when it starts going down, then you have more and more phosphofructokinase that can do its job and it starts up. It's a type of what we'll learn later called feedback control. Now the end of the energy investment phase, when you get that same deep at the very end, you are going to get something we've seen seen before G V P and we're seeing that in photosynthesis now G 3 P is going to become a Oh, well, something I didn't mention, G3P is a three carbon molecule. So we, that would mean we have two G3Ps. And during the event, energy investment stage, there's a bunch of steps, but all we care is that we're going to have four ADP ADPs plus four phosphates that are going to be converted into four ATPs and we're going to get two NADHs plus two hydrogen ions and our final product is Pyruvate, two of them. Now, you sometimes will see this written as pyruvic acid. So, we'll usually call it pyruvates, but if you see pyruvic acid, they, it is exactly the same thing. 
So that is the end of glycolysis. Now let's go over this. Glycolysis is needed for cellular respiration. Remember, cellular respiration takes place in the mitochondria. Glycolysis takes place in the cytoplasm. Now the products of glycolysis enter cellular respiration when oxygen is available. You, uh, this means You do not need oxygen for glycolysis. However, we'll see in 4.6 that if you don't have oxygen during glycolysis for animals, for many organisms, uh, glycolysis gets sidetracked. And We'll talk about that later on in this chapter. Two ATP molecules are used to split glucose. Into two G3Ps or a three carbon molecule. Four ATPs are produced and when you get the four ATPs produced you're going to have two pyruvate and as I said I like to include that you also also get two NADHs plus two hydrogen ions because that will eventually get you some more ATPs. Two molecules of NADH are produced, I just said. Two molecules of pyruvate produced and there is a small diagram You see our glucose is going to be split up on that. And then remember, if you get too much A, if you're getting too much ATP, say you're making too much of it, or you have to have more than enough, that's going to come and bind to that enzyme in the energy investment stage and it's going to inhibit that enzyme from continuing glycolysis. It basically stops, slows down glycolysis until ATP starts getting used up then glycolysis will start up again and that's the end of glycolysis.